So to open Word, once we have it installed in the computer, we click here on Start and then locate it under the list of our programs here, or we simply type Word and then hit Enter. Once we open Word, we are presented with these options here on the left. We have three tabs. We have the Home tab, New, and Open. On the Home tab, we have the option to create a blank document or some guides and uh, templates directly from Microsoft. Then further below here, we have an option to open recent documents or pinned documents or documents that are shared with me. Further down here on the left on the next tab on New, we have the option to create a blank document or to create a document from a template. This is so that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Let's say you want to create a resume. The next option here is to open a document where we can open from the recent documents or OneDrive or files shared with me or files stored on this PC. Further down, we have also the account option. Let's say that we wanted to create a new document. We can do that either by clicking here under the Home tab. We click on the blank document option, or we could go here under the New tab, and we click on Blank Document or use one of the templates. In this case, first I'm going to click on Blank Document. This main area here is where we type the document. Now, a couple other interface uh, components here. On the very top left, you'll see here this Quick Access Toolbar. This is an area for you to place in here commonly used commands in Microsoft Word. So you can click on the drop-down, let's say you're emailing a document or you're opening documents all the time, you can enable those buttons by just simply clicking one of those and it'll add the open button here. Another way to add those buttons is if you are in a specific tab, and I'll go over the tabs in a moment, and you want to insert, let's say, pictures all the time, you can right click on this and choose to add it to the quick access toolbar. So in this case, it will always show up here. You don't have to go under the insert tab and then pictures, but you can simply use it from here. Now, if you want to remove it from here, you can right click on it and choose to remove it from the quick access toolbar. On the left hand side here, the first option is file. File is basically bringing you back to work with anything related to the file in the computer, whether you want to create a new file, open an existing file, or information about the specific file that you're working with, or saving that file, or printing it, sharing it. So that's your file tab. The next thing here is the Home tab. So these are the different tabs, actually. So if I click on Insert, you'll have a different set of tools within that tab. If I click on Design, Again, a different set of tools. So under the Home tab, these are the most commonly used tools to edit a document in Word. And these are referred to as the groupings. So you have the font grouping or the group for font related commands or paragraph formatting the paragraph grouping. So these are the, the functions related to formatting paragraphs or styles, applying a style to a document and so on. All the style stuff is over here, editing over here, and other options. The key concept here, there are different tabs. Each tab has groupings. Within each grouping, there is a set of functions. And these are designed intentionally this way. So you initially type your document with a bunch of text in here. Then once you have typed that document, then you can apply formatting to it. You can change the paragraphs, you can apply styles, and we'll learn about all of these different functions in this tutorial. Once you have done these basic things with your document or your report, then you can go here under Insert, and that's where you can insert cover pages, blank pages, page breaks, tables, pictures, icons, 3D models, and uh, smart art, and all of these different functions, comments, headers, and footers, and things of that nature. So you are enhancing your original document. Under the Design tab, now you go into a different layer of enhancing this document. So you're kind of applying a theme, and we'll learn about the themes later, 
but you're applying, you're making all the components in this document uniform. The next component here is the layout. You're changing the layout of the document, whether it's the margins for the document or the orientation or the size of the document or adding columns. Then you move to the references. This is like where you are taking it even farther. For example, you have a long report. Now you're creating a table of contents. You're adding footnotes and you're researching and finding and applying citations, captions for various images. So you're kind of refining it at this stage. Then you have the mailings tab. That's kind of by itself. That's just a separate function for you to do mail merges, whether it's creating envelopes, labels, or letters, or emails, or a directory, and so on. The review tab, this is one of the last steps. Let's say you have finalized your report. Now you need to review it. So you go under the thesaurus, you check the word count, you check it for accessibility, you add comments to it and collaborate with others and track changes when you're collaborating with others. You can even compare documents and restrict functions within this document. And then finally, do a full review of your document where you're going here under the view tab and then you can do a reading mode, just reading through to make sure it's what you intended it to be. You also have the help option where this is where you can learn about training or what new features are there. And, but also along with the help here, notice that on any of these tabs, you have this option here, and you can type, let's say margins. You are not sure how to set the margins you can simply search in this area for that function and it will take you to that specific command. So you don't have to know where that command is. Since this is part of Office 365, you can share this document and you can comment with other individuals as well. On the bottom right, this is where you can change the zoom. You can change the views here to have this in reading mode or print layout mode. Typically, you want to have it in print layout mode. You also have the focus mode, hiding everything else. Then on the left-hand side, you have the number of words, various statistics about this document, and then the number of pages and navigation uh, here as well.